this is not for beginners unless you have patience unless you got a remover and unless you're gonna try it like i literally had to do it four times <music> I'm late to the party. I guess it's been about eight months, but Kiss came out with something called Foscara, a new way to lash. And what it is, is like an alternative to lash extensions. This is like semi-permanent. It is supposed to last to up to a week. So I bought the kit, which comes with the lashes, the adhesive that's double-sided for the start and finish, and the applicator. The key thing that I bought, is the remover because people were complaining that their lashes came out but I'm just gonna put this in the front if you don't buy this it will rip out your lashes this adhesive is very strong so you got to take it out the right way you got to protect your lashes if you want to keep them on your face so they came with three styles I got the lengthening lash one because it came in the kit but the cool thing is like because you bought the kit you have the applicator and you have the adhesive so when you want new lashes all you have to do is buy new lashes now also if you clean these lashes you can reuse them so i watched the kiss video on how to apply these it looks so simple i don't really think it's that simple but i'm gonna try it anyway we're gonna see how this goes you're supposed to put it underneath your lash your lashes should be washed and clean like nothing on them no mascara so I don't have anything on my lashes. I'm gonna work my way from either the inside out or the outside in. Um, my eyes are kind of small. I don't know that I'm going to need them all, but we're gonna see what happens. Also, from what I've seen, you gotta work quick. Step one is the bond. So let me bond these. Yo. Okay, this is just broke in half. I bond them together. And this bond is kind of like a black mascara. to go underneath i never go underneath because that shit's scary to me but i'm gonna try it on today this shit looks so easy when they were doing it but right now i don't even know nope lash okay i can't get the thing to go on there This might be a fail. I might actually have to practice applying these on underneath first. I think I got it. Why does it look so easy? I'm so floored right now that I can't get this. I'm gonna practice and then I'm gonna come back. Okay, you guys, round two, I took them off. I had to just wait another day and come back. Today is Friday, now it's after work. I watched a few more videos to see what I was doing wrong. And <laughs> let me tell you what I was doing wrong. After I stuck them, I was trying to squeeze them together with this, which was making them stick to this and to me, so that was wrong. I mean, which was making the lash thing stick together. You don't do that with that. And also I was trying to put my waterline, it needs to go right below. And then a friend of mine who does lash extensions told me to get a little bitty mirror and to put it right here and also lift up and put it right before the waterline. So I'm gonna try this again. Now I did buy the remover that came in handy to get that residue off of my lashes. And you know, it comes with five lashes, but I have little eyes. So I think I am only going to do four. And what I also realized too, is that if you have individual lashes, you can use those too. I saw videos of people using those. However, I don't know if they're made for that and that might make the difference. Here goes nothing. Oh, and I put the bond on both of the lashes before. That was real juvenile. Um, <laughs> definitely, definitely shouldn't have did that. So I'm gonna try again, just this one lash. Jesus Christ. 
poke myself in the eye. Yo. Like it's even harder this time. I felt like really good about this being easier this time. Something tells me the other side is gonna be easier. But I'm not a quitter. So I got some on and it's a little patchy. I think I put too much bond. I actually think I put the bond too far and I messed this up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these off and then I'm gonna start on this eye and I'm gonna come back to this one. If you can see, get all up in there, but it's like, it's a mess. But lucky for me, I wasn't being cheap and I purchased this because I feel like this is gonna make all the difference. 10 seconds so. all right so those slid right out with no problem with the remover now I got cotton ball residue on my eyes but I'm gonna let this press in for like another 10 minutes because I need to get this off it's round three I took them off, I got my lashes back to normal. I used the remover. And so now my lashes are normal again. I'm gonna start on this side. Let me just start on my right side. My left hand is always the hardest for me to do with anything. I don't even know what possessed me to try it that side. But let me just go in and do this. motion of the eye pulled up but I can't pull up my eye and use the under mirror I'm going to get this if it kills me this camera is so disrespectful this is just front and center but anyway it's the lashes I only put on four because I have little eyes and what I'm gonna do right now is apply the sealer I did it off camera because I was able to see better but where I'm standing right now I might be able to do this try the other eye here because of the angle that might actually help me now if you are not a professional meaning like if you don't put your eyelashes underneath this is going to be a challenge like it's something that once you get it you get it because it sticks really well what I do right now is I'm gonna go with the lashes I'm gonna try to do this eye I got everything off this lash is back to normal so Let's see if we can get this times two happening. All up in the business. We're gonna try this again. Take this bond. I thought I was gonna be able to get this on camera. I'm gonna do it off camera because this is not working. Okay guys, so I am done. I was able to get them on. I was persistent, I got them on. This is not for beginners unless you have patience unless you got a remover, unless you're gonna try it. Like I literally had to do it four times and I had to do them off camera. Me personally, what I recommend for you, if you are a beginner, is to be up close to a mirror like this and then put them on. Um, but I can't hold it because I also have to lift so I had to stand in front of a mirror which is why I wasn't able to complete it on camera. But I think they look really good. I'm not complaining in the world where we wear masks, like some good lashes and some eyebrows makes all the difference you know what i'm saying um it makes you feel a little less basic so what i am gonna do is i'm gonna wear them for the week i'm gonna see how it goes i'm gonna see how long they stay on i'm gonna see how many days i can get out of it now granted i probably don't have the most perfect application i'm gonna show you what it looks like but again it's my first time and i plan on getting better at it the more i get better at it the better it'll look i plan on keep trying like they look good they look natural at least can we do look natural natural and full 
yourself literally that's all i can ask for so if you want to see more videos like this give it a thumbs up if you're not subscribed already go ahead and hit that subscribe button i do hair i do makeup and i try new things okay and with that said you guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video also stay tuned for an update okay guys update it is the next morning i'm fresh out the shower um and i washed my face i was trying not to like put all the water in my face and i even got water like on this eye with my little sponge and i was like oh my god they're gonna come off but i slept in them showered in them still on let's get a little closer dive into it still looks good here still looks good there so i'm gonna say they're good for a shower and a sleep i don't know how many showers and sleeps you get out of these but my goal is to keep these on for a week because they said they're supposed to last for a week so i will follow up with you guys either in a week or when they start coming off and it's before a week